and I'm doing it for my daughter. Filmmaking, you can't, if you make film by committee, you have, you end up with Marvel. <laughs> that sort of thing. It's, okay. I'd rather X-Men be leather again with Brian Singer from 20 years ago. I'd rather the leather X-Men be back than the way it is now. You mean the X-Men with the leather costumes? Yes. Yeah. Back, I, I didn't like it back in the day because I was so used to X-Men like animated. Now. now, I'll tell you what. I love it. Yeah. What do you mean leather? They just had leather. They wore leather. Instead of like the bright yellow and blue and leather and, and all this, the, the crazy superhero co costumes, they had like muted, muted design and like leather. Leather. Mm, leather. They Walking around leather. slick like that. They're all riding motorcycles. Yeah. I don't want road rash. I like I leather. You like those movies, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the old I ones. I do too. The old ones, they bring you, I mean, you watch something from 20 years ago, even like Spider-Man 1, mm -hmm. it's unbelievable. It's like another dimension. Yeah. It's like you know this dimension has collapsed, If you even if you watch an old movie. Mm -hmm. God, they're so good. Even mm -hmm. Brian Singer, I mean, you can say what you want, you can fly on... You know, you can fly on uh, planes with Hugh Jackman, Brian yeah. Singer on, you know, with boys and going hot tubs and all that Epstein stuff. Island. Yeah, I mean, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But, I mean, the guy, usual suspects, you know, the guy. The guy really, could make a leather movie. The guy makes a movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't yeah. make Cruising, but he can make a movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's no Friedkin, but he's, you know, he's Brian Singer. He has different proclivities. Yeah. Well, with David Blaine in the house, you know. <laughs> you got the pussy posse. <laughs> well, we call it the different type of posse. People. Posse, probably. Oh, pussy posse, yeah, probably. Pussy posse. Yeah, the Preteen butt. Penis posse. But the buttock posse. <laughs> the buttock, buttock brothers. Buttock brothers. <laughs> That's Kevin Spacey and David Blaine. The buttock, <laughs> buttock brothers. <laughs> it's unbelievable, this world, man. Yo. We got to watch X-Men, watch Superman. Yeah. I did Superman, you know, like a Mystique year ago. Mystique being so all good. sexy. Yeah, uh, oh, Romaine Stamos. Yeah. You got Rebecca Romaine. Is that yeah. her, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those were the days, man. Remember yeah. those days? Those were good. Uh, I never watched, not, a, I've never seen one Marvel movie. Well, the casting was a bit rough on uh, Magneto. You know who's sexy is Famke Jansen or whatever? Her yeah, name is? she's got a, she has a bit of a no, phenotype. She's got to quite her. a bit. Uh, what are you doing? You don't like that? that uh, well, no, I appreciate the aesthetic. Remember her from, she was the James Bond movie? The James Bond and also, the legs. yeah, GoldenEye. Yeah, she was crushing guys while they were getting off. It was kind of yeah, interesting. I'm watching it with my dad. Thing. I was like, wow. Um, no, but she was in TNG. She played like the perfect being that was like when she came out of the egg, she like really? molded herself sexually and, and psychologically to the mate that was in the wow. same room. So I remember her from back in the day from that. Dang. Uh, but, she, but she was good in 24. Like she, she, oh no no it was not 24 it was uh it was the other one taken she taken. was the wife and taken oh. and it was so much fun to see her in there but she had she had a good way about her now i mean what well now she's got some beast things all over her face she, she always struck me as someone who was on growth hormone or something like that bro beast hormone well that's a different sport. yeah I, mean, I, I can get behind chris but can you type in before i lose my mind here uh famke jansen uh, goldeneye and and then after that, Lark Voorhees before and after plastic surgery. I think we'll appreciate oh, that. Oh God, yeah, that's uh, got some kicks. Or golden. Eats. I feel like sending her some wow, flowers. I got so many hot. kicks from that. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, that's hot. Golden. Yeah, no eye shit. Just like Mila Jokovic in uh, Fifth Element a little bit. Those hot. were the days. Yeah, those hot. were the days. Can you go to video, days. please? <laughs> video. But she became Chris. the perfect mate. To a good squeeze. Oh. She she got bonded to Pat uh, Pat Stewart. Oh Pat! And it blew his mind, and it made him nuts, and it ruined his life. He should definitely quit Star Starbase after that <laughs> one. <laughs> Starbase. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's a Mortal Kombat fatality. Yeah, what the hell? That he's dropping. Her. He's got a gun to him. Oh fuck! Wow, she, that's that's awesome. she always did enjoy a good squeeze. That's crazy. Oh, he's like this. I fucked her before. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh yeah, she's, Will Wheaton. We want to talk about the. Well, oh yeah, yeah. Go. I was just. No, there's, no. there's more casting. It like, cast the Magneto casting was leather X Men. The craziest. It's the most. You don't think it was good? Images. Who well, I like Anne McKellen, but his casting of Magneto as Magneto can, compared to the comic books was the craziest thing I'd ever seen in my lifetime. Oh, of course. But Will Wheaton, though, his cast. They should have gotten Jerry O'Connell to be Magneto. Oh, <laughs> that would have been. They could have. They could have. They could have had Suzanne Barr. Be Magneto, it wouldn't have been too much different, considering that Anne McCown is what he is. Roseanne Barr? Uh, yeah. Oh, did, yeah, yeah, Roseanne. Or Suzanne. Suzanne Summers. What about Roxanne Barr? I'd rather Roxanne. 
Whoa, Will Wheaton's 51 years old? He's 51? Uh, shit, yeah. Well, if you don't have testosterone, you age, you know. He looks a bit medical to nice me. Nice like a girl. He hey, looks, maybe he was, he, born looks, at, he was born at uh, 36 years old. Was he one was that was a medical born? experiment. He, he was definitely he was born. born at 36, yeah. He was yeah. definitely born with some diff- some alterations to him. He uh, was 36 when he came out, yeah. Yeah, he's always been a bit cute. <laughs> he's always been altered in an altered yeah, state. He looks a bit scientific now, as you can see, uh, if, if you know what I mean. But the funniest thing, the, the funny thing about that is that he hates the role. And that I always think that's so super funny. Like Bruce Willis, <laughs> Bruce Willis hates the Die Hard role. Really? Yeah, he's like a dickhead about Yippee it. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Yeah, like if you go to him with a Die Hard quote, he's just he hates that. It's like it's like uh, his teeth fall out and he can't remember. <laughs> and Harrison Ford's the fu- Harrison Ford is the funniest one out of all of them because Harrison Ford hates all his famous roles, but he also gets pissed off if people don't know, like some uh, if if people don't like acknowledge that he was he's Indiana Jones. Yeah. Or Davy Crockett or whatever. Star- <laughs> Who's who's it? Davy yeah. Who was he in Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, in Han Solo. Solo. Han Solo. Star, 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 Star Trek. Or you don't know who Han Solo is? You don't know who Han Solo is? I don't know. Is that but, the fat uh, one? Yeah, the, the, um, Harrison Ford is, he's, uh, I mean, he's, he reminds Smirking me. Smirking rogue. He reminds me of my dad so much. because that, that swap? That immediate, like, um, light switch flip to, to sort of, like, feminine confrontational anger. He, uh, he was a master at that. Yeah, master, madam. master. He was a master at the madam? madam. Get I'll back in your car, that. madam. That type of shit. But Harris, uh, man, Harrison Ford even looks like my dad too, kind of. Well, <laughs> being Johnny Depp mm-hmm. and being like like that kind of shit. It's I'm trying to think of like like the earring. Tom Hanks, just like the the back stars in these fucking the, Tom big Hanks name and actors. Harrison Ford are very se- they have very serious personas. Like Johnny yeah. Depp is like. He's his bracelets clinking on his guitar while he's doing a, a freaking perfume ad. You know, it's crazy. He's talking about his wife shitting or shitting the bed or something. His eyes, are, you know, it's like crazy. Yeah. But but Harrison Ford is different. He's like a he's a, like a like a freak show. He's on a different level. Yeah. He's like a John driving Hanks. school instructor that got a billion dollars for acting. <laughs> no, no, a reminds you. no, he was a carpenter. <laughs> uh, he's a humble beginnings as a carpenter. Uh, yeah, 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 right. Right. yeah, right. He was born at thir- 13 yeah. years old and out of a tube. Yeah, yeah he was good. And, and uh, with Tommy Lee Jones and The Fugitive. Yeah. Uh, but his best stuff was Pete Weir back in the 80s, like Mosquito Coast and Witness. That was his by far his best shit. Everything mm. else is kind of gay compared to that, honestly. Mm. But Pete Weir, check those out. Mm. John Travolta is a big name. He's got a yeah. jumbo oh, jet. John Travolta is jumbo. incredible. His house a, is an airport. Yeah. He's got an airport in his house. Yes. Doable. Anybody can do that. But oh. that's, isn't that it crazy? Is, but he's got a jumbo jet. Yeah. The 747. He flies it. Yeah. Like, What's the, Look, at, it's wh- parked in front of his house. Are they like a taxi service? What's with all them flying planes? <laughs> 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 are they, like, do, do they traffic people? Probably. He can traffic whoever he wants. He's trafficking people. I'm going to hit John up. Look, I'll be your masseuse. I can, I'll let you fuck me. I, like, I just want to see how you live for a little bit. And I want to do some scenes from Swordfish. From Gre- <laughs> I want to do some scenes with Grease. Yeah. <laughs> Jumbo layer? That's insane. <clears throat> what the f- What a maniac. Yeah, that's maniac shit. It looks like, <laughs> it's like Dana White. <laughs> oh, my God. And I saw that one recently. It's like um, me. With a taking of Pelham one two three, <laughs> he looks like so me. funny. Yeah, the taking of Pelham one two three was so. Funny. <laughs> I was laughing my it's ass unreal. off with that. What you <laughs> That was a really funny face. Pel- Pelham, the Pelham taking one, two, of Pelham one two three. John Travolta is the best. Blowout is the best of all time. If you've never seen Blowout, the, really? the Palma classics. Blowout will change your life. All right. I'm telling you, blow your fucking mind. Well, John Travolta is good. What is Blowout? Look at this. The best this, movie of this all lady time. gave her is her kid to John. Maybe like eighty one. Wow. I would say Blowout. Yo, yeah. Oh, is it a hair blowout? Is that what we're first? Oh, no, it's yes. about. Oh no, it's about sound recording. He's like recording sound for movies, and he, oh. he like he's out recording and like field recording, getting sounds, and he witnesses like like a car going into the river, and he he he, drive, he goes in there, and it's like some congressman that was blah blah blah. It's like a big plot. But it's the best movie no of all time. Blow your fucking mind. It's good. Oh, it's the 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 best. Th- this well, Paul, maybe we shouldn't watch the trailer. I want if I want to watch no, this. No, this and Body Double, De Palma. Are the best movies ever made? This and Body Double, the best movies Blowout ever made. <laughs> Which, by the way, I've mentioned this. Can you, can you open a new tab and type in Will Wheaton game? Just his, his okay, bro. Tabletop right there. Oh my gosh, tabletop. God second, second link. There, there, there. Okay, so rejecting the role that made you famous—that's the reason why anybody knows your name—and then building an entire swag, your entire swag, your entire industry, geek and sundry. 
Wheaton tattoo. What has he got on his arm there? What is that devil shit? That's like a Cthulhu thing. Does he have any Satan shit on him? It's just Cthulhu. He's got his Satan t-shirt right there. Hot nut tattoo piercing. Big surprise. Nerf herder. Huh. Oh, he's a That's scrubby a nerf herder. What an idiot. He's getting vaxxed. He's got his pronouns. How? Wow. That's worse than I thought. I like his body. <laughs> is that his body? Who Who was he before he got that role? Oh, he's in Stand By Me with Jerry O'Connor oh. and like a bunch. Like who else is in that? Corey Feldman. Yeah, a bunch of people. But he was in that, I believe. But my my dream my dream is to meet him, and he hates that previous role so much. But my dream is to meet him and say, "Oh my God, Wesley Crusher! I can't believe you passed the Starfleet Academy." Your mom was always the best medic. It's so great, it's great to meet you. <laughs> I preferred Pulaski. Uh, but I, it would be a good, I think he would like that. And you get to smell his pheromones too. <laughs> You'd get to get like, just to see what he's all about. Yeah, you got to see what he's about. You got to see what he smells like. Probably like a trash bag full of cheese. Nah, him, him getting out of a gray Prius. Mm. He's driving your old one. Laundry foam. 